If you are tired of using the same Canva frames as everyone else, here's the secret to making your own custom frames just like these, the kind that people actually pay for on Etsy, Creative Fabrica, Creative Market, amongst other platforms. Now, I have helped thousands of creators turn basic PNGs into scroll-stopping, sellable designs, and today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how. Most people think that you need Adobe Illustrator or some fancy plugin to make custom Canva frames. Nope, all you need is Canva and a free tool called Phototopia and this one trick that turns any shape into a reusable, resellable Canva frame. And it's way easier than you think, but only if you follow the steps right. So let's get into it. And if you want my free checklist with all the steps, the exact settings to save time and avoid mistakes, comment tutorial below and I will send it your way. All right, so let's get started. First, start in Canva. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick the design that you're trying to turn into a Canva frame. So for this example, I'm actually using this rainbow, but you could pretty much turn anything into a frame. So I'm using this as an example. So once you have the design, you're gonna go ahead and click on share, and you're gonna download this as a PNG with a transparent background. So go ahead and download that to your device. Once that's downloaded, you're gonna head over to a website called Photopia. This is a free tool, and you're gonna go ahead and drag and drop that PNG file into this tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop it here. Let me see if I could grab it. And it's gonna open this window, and we're gonna follow three steps. The first one is, Go ahead and click on layers. You can see it right here. And what you're gonna do is that you're gonna right click and you're gonna select pixels. The second step, you're gonna go to paths, which is right next door. And then you're gonna go to the bottom of the screen and you're gonna click on selection to path. And then the third step is that you're gonna go to the menu bar on the top right up here. And you're gonna go to layer. You're gonna go to vector mass. And then you're gonna scroll down to current path and click there. We are pretty much done here. Now you wanna export it as a PDF. So we're gonna to go to file, export as, and then you wanna click on PDF. And then click on save, and it's gonna go ahead and download it to your device. Now we're gonna head back to Canva and let me open a new Canva here, and I'm gonna go ahead and upload the P PDF. So it's right here to Canva. Once it's uploaded, we're gonna go ahead and detach the image. I'm gonna show you right now how to do it. So we're gonna go ahead and add the image. We're gonna right click, and then you're gonna go down to detach image, and you're gonna take the image out and delete it and there goes your custom frame. And you could do this for pretty much any design, anything that you wanna do, including photos as well. Put any image you want on top of it, just like that. It's that simple, how cool is this? If you enjoyed this video and would like more tutorials like this, let me know by commenting below and don't forget to comment tutorial for the full breakdown. Now that you got your first custom frame, if you wanna learn how to sell digital products, come in digital to learn more about my membership. Thanks for watching.